Hi everybody, my name is Aton and welcome to another After Effects tutorial. Today I'll be showing you how to make this background slash title sequence or all sorts of, you can use this for all sorts of cool motion graphics-y stuff. And now, I didn't animate this, this is just a still frame, but um, it can be animated. It was just because I thought, um, I'd seen a lot of these on TV for like various crime shows and stuff, so thought I'd make my own little title sequence, so uh, let's get started. So, I'm just going to copy this text so I don't have to um, re-go through aligning the text and stuff, but um, make a new comp. Oh, that's a square comp, so I can just go to the composition settings. 1920 by 1080. There, that's what we want. And control V to just, I pasted that text in there. You can just type some text and I use the line to center it. I just kind of like this font and stuff, so didn't want to worry about going through all that stuff again, but now we have that, we can just turn it off for now, we don't need to see it, and let's make a solid. Okay, so we have this solid, so the first thing we're going to do is put on Fractal Noise. And here we go. And so, what we're going to do is change this to the type Dynamic, and actually, that is fine, and so let's darken this and turn up the contrast a little, so right in there we... So that, that's just going to give our background a little base texture. So now we're going to add on some noise. This is just going to roughen our image a fair amount. Turn off, use color noise, and turn it to around 90% looks pretty good with the rest of the effect. So this is just dirtying our image and making it, um, it'll make it work with our next effect, which is to emboss it. So here we go, and now we have what looks sort of like a wall. So we don't really need to change any of these settings unless you want to, but you can get various um, cool looking variations on this. And so next thing uh, you want to do is probably just add on a curves or some your color adjustment of choice. And we're just going to darken this a fair amount. And bring down that it a little there we go and then I'm gonna throw in this effect Noir Modern um, this is in Red Giant Universe but really all it's doing is throwing on a vignette I'm just too lazy to do it myself but if you want to just throw on a vignette you don't need to worry about downloading Red Giant Universe even though it is free and I do highly recommend it okay so next thing would be our text which we have right here so let's just bring that out on top okay so now we have those two layers, so now we're going to make another solid and an instance of optical flares. Optical flares is a video copilot uh, plugin. You can also use um, No Light Factory or really any, um, any lens flare plugin, or if you don't want to buy a plugin, which is completely understandable. Um, you can just take a still of a lens flare and put it on screen mode if you just look up lens flare on like Google Images and then just put that in. Only issue there is you won't be able to adjust it as much as you would, especially in things like brightness. Um, but yeah, so let's take a nice um, preset because, you know, why make our own when we have presets? So set that to screen looking pretty good and so we're gonna duplicate this and then just make one of them invisible for now okay so this bottom one um, I'm gonna set it to multiply and this is gonna just give the um, a really cool texture to like most of it because it, it takes the color and like allows it allows the scene to be viewed sort of through the alpha of that through the alpha channel sort of blended with the original. Um, so I know that's a little confusing, but I think it just adds a cool sort of color effect, and it's almost like a second vignette. So I think that's pretty cool. Um, I'm actually not crazy about the color with this blue. I think it should be a little darker if we're going to use blue. Um, or actually, eh, red doesn't look quite as good. How about like a dark green? No. I'll keep it up blue for now. You can play around with this a little more. 
So now we can turn back on our top lens flare. This one we can turn down the brightness. Oh, I'm still affecting the bottom one. Um, this top one we can just play with the brightness a little. Okay, and now we're pretty close to done. Um, so what we're going to do now is just an adjustment layer with some final effects to finish things off. So first effect we're going to do is RGB separation. This is another universe plugin, um, but you can, there, there are various tutorials online for how to do, just look up an RGB separation and that's, this is just a preset that makes it faster and easier. So very subtle, um, just like one. So this will just give it a little character. And if you are, if you do end up animating this, um, you can totally play around with a wiggle on that um, to just definitely give it some character. So I think one, maybe even like 0.5, it really, a lot, a little goes a long way with that. This just, yeah, I think that looks pretty good. Um, and so now the final effect we can add is, um, a zoom blur. Now this is again another universe thing, but you can use uh, CC radial fast blur and stuff. I just like the controls on this one a little better, but it's essentially doing the same thing. So then you can bring it out to around there and um, play with the speed for that fall off you're getting on the side, which you can also adjust here. And actually, I didn't add this on the original, but I feel like this could use a glow. Let's go through our glows here. Just a plain standard After Effects glow. Not sure I like it on this lens flare. I'm going to bring this lens flare to the top. So it's not glowing. Everything else is. There we go. I think this actually looks pretty epic. So it's pretty close. The original one was a little darker and the colors are a tiny bit different, but overall we ended up making a pretty similar thing and I think this is a pretty cool effect. So definitely if you do, if you use this in something, especially if you animate it, I'm curious to see what you do. Uh, make sure to send that to me and um, just a tip, you want to make sure to freeze the noise because the noise right now, if you move forward, is going to move, which is going to just make the background look weird, so you'll want to freeze that. So send me anything you do, put it in the comments below, that's all fine. So, thanks for watching this After Effects tutorial. If you liked it, please like, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below, and I will try to get back to you. So, thanks for watching, and I hope you learned something.